Well, hello there, beautiful people. This is Christine, your DIY craftaholic. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning. And if you are new, welcome to you as well. This is a napkin challenge where we craft with napkin, but more about that in the video. Let's get crafting. For this first one, I'm taking these lotion uh, toothbrush set from Dollar Tree. I've had this sitting in my stash for over two years and I decided this is a perfect time to use it. Now for this napkin, I don't remember whether I got this from Timu or I got this from Dollar Tree. I don't remember, but I will be using just the flowery section or the patterned section. And here I'm using a wet paintbrush to just mark out the area that I need to cut. This wasn't working for me, so I then decided to just use the scissors. <laughs> and I was doing that so I could tear it easily and not get a straight edge, but rather a jagged edge. But that wasn't working out, so I just went with the scissors. <laughs> so now that I have that all cut out, I removed the back ply and I am using some Mod Podge. I'm only putting the napkin on the one section. I'm not covering all of it. So I use a Mod Podge with the fan brush. Apply that. And then I place the napkin down and went all the way around. I placed the napkin down and went all the way around. I placed the napkin down and I went all around. All right, that's about as much of my singing that you're going to get. <laughs> all right, so you saw me trimming off that little patterned edge there. Now, this would be perfect if you have like a beach theme or summer theme for your guest bathroom or your guest um, powder room or your trailer or your beach home or your summer camper or whatever little area that you may have and you want just a beach theme this would be perfect for your guest bathroom and of course if you decide that you don't want this theme anymore but you still want to use the containers just apply some water and soak that off and you're good to go again and that's the beauty about using napkin on ceramic it's easy to remove if you've decided that you no longer want that look and after I put that on I then went over it with some Mod Podge just to seal everything and then dried it And then I thought that it needed a little bit more drying, so I put the parchment paper over that and dried it a little bit more. You see me using my, the palm of my hand to just seal everything in. And then I did, did the same thing to the others, took them outside and sprayed them with some Mod Podge spray. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is a napkin challenge. This month, we're just doing anything that we like to do using the napkins that we already had in our stash. It's hosted monthly by Sarah from Sunflowers and DIYing. And her co-host is Loli from Loli D's Creation. I will leave both their links in the, in the description box below as well as a playlist that will be filled with a lot of other talented crafters. Make sure to check them out. Now for the second DIY, I'm using this home piece that I picked up at the Dollar Tree with these little small single cut poses. <laughs> and I am going to connect all of them together using some craft sticks. And I flip them over, cut down the craft sticks small enough where they could join each piece.
and I used some Dollar Tree wood glue applied some to the edge of each of these hoses join them together and then apply the wood glue and hot glue to the craft sticks and place that over the joints so if you are new to my channel or coming over from the playlist welcome i'm so happy you joined me today here on my channel i do diys on a budget dupes look for less and some occasional dollar tree shopping hauls and thrift flips if you love budget friendly diys like these and you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing and be sure to hit that notification bell hit it again and select all so youtube notifies you whenever i upload new videos now you don't want to put too much hot glue because it's going to raise it a little bit too much. Sometimes I prefer to just use the wood glue and use clamps to hold it down until it cures. But then the hot glue is for quick hold. But then you run the risk of having this bump on your project if you use the hot glue too much. As you see me there, <laughs> the hot glue just never held it in together. But you can do whatever you choose to do. So I had to apply some weight and let that dry for a little bit. And now that's all dried, I went in with some Waverly Pool. Because if you notice, that's also the same color as the top part of the napkin, which was perfect. And for this one, I did not trim off the blue section. I left that on. Because it's blue and the paint is blue, I didn't bother to cut it off, if you know what I mean. So I applied some Mod Podge and I'm doing it in sections to this part and then dried it just a little, placed the napkin over that and then sealed that with my hand. And then I did this going along for, this, for each piece. And for this one, because the surface is flat, I put the parchment paper down and then use my heat press to reactivate the Mod Podge and to seal it. And I'm going to be using the burn technique. So I just trim off a little of the excess, poke holes in the middle parts there, and then use my lighter to light one end and allow the flames to just run along the, the edges until it was all done and then just burn out the middle. Now here we are all done. As you can see, some parts got a little burned, but I took the sanding block and the nail file and I just sanded that off. I decided to just leave it as is because it gave it a little rustic <laughs> look. And so now to embellish that, I took the furniture marker and I'm going along the edge to give the houses some roof and to highlight them a little bit more. And for the back part, I am going to secure just a small spot where I'm going to apply two little tumbling tower blocks for stands and then I decided to just paint the back as well because as you saw the flames kind of burnt it a little so I covered that with the paint and then I took two of these small tumbling blocks and placed them in that area and the little spot that was peeking through I covered that with the paint and then applied two small jute bowls and that's done. Now this is celebration time. Now my friend Nadine who has been watching the videos and getting inspiration and I really really appreciate that she shared this with me and so I decided to just give her some props and big her up in the video. You go girl. You enjoy watching those videos and getting your creativity. I love to see these. 
Now we're moving on to DIY number three. This is a kind of trash to treasure, but of course, to let you know that your soup cans, you can also use those for, for DIYs. So sanded it down a little bit to just clean off some of the sheen and then use the pool again to just cover that. Didn't cover it too much, just one coat. And here I am going again with the napkin. If you're enjoying this video so far, I really want to tell you thanks for stopping by. I appreciate my subscribers and my visitors because I know not everybody subscribes when they watch, but I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your support. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so before you leave. It's free. <laughs> and if budget friendly DIYs is your jam I do have a playlist that is chock full of other videos filled with inspiration I'll leave that at the end of the video so make sure you stay to the end I love to watch videos when I'm cleaning and oh boy they, that's when I find time to watch videos and I love it so I hope that's you as well Now for this one, I just basically did the same thing as you saw me do for the other two. Applied the napkin with the Mod Podge. Placed that down, used some heat. Applied more Mod Podge on the outer parts to seal it. I don't always like to use a liquid Mod Podge on my napkin because it creates bubbles. I prefer to just carry it outside and spray it. But if you don't have the Mod Podge spray, the liquid is fine. And then I took the jute cord, went around the, the bottom of the can for embellishment. This one is, this part is optional. You can do whatever or use whatever you have to embellish. Just go with your creativity. And then I did the same thing for the top. I just went around maybe twice or three times. And then I had to add some more layers to the bottom piece just to balance the top. And then took the lighter to burn off the fuzzies these jute cords are very fuzzy now here I'm going in with some floral picks from Dollar Tree I, I don't usually like to remove the tags because especially if I am not um, cutting off the buds or the, the pieces from the pick because then when I'm ready to use it again I don't remember what it's called you understand what I'm saying <laughs> so for that one I just removed that and took this rose and just kind of intertwine them together so that they look at what look like one bouquet and I thought it needed something else so I'm added some little bit a little bit more color and that is that So now we're here for the final reveal. I love how these turned out, especially the home sign. But guys, you let me know which one of these is your favorite down in the comment section below. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so before you leave. And to enjoy even more budget friendly content, I recommend this video right here and this playlist. And stay safe, my friends, until my next one. Bye.